I won't put my name on anything that doesn't please me. So just like my photography, if the image isn't right, I rip it up. We don't move forward on it. Same thing with the housing. I look at the housing as three-dimensional art. I only know one way to do it, and that's the right way. We know we can make homes sustainable. We know we can make them passive, zero energy. Well, how do we make homes healthy? We've vetted all our materials. We've done our testing so we know that the materials really work. Now we're actually building this first unit. This unit that we're building right now is approximately 380 square feet. This could just drop uh, into their backyard on temporary or permanent foundations. We can tie into their existing uh, water and sewer lines and power lines, and uh, they could be up and running within, uh, within a month. The finish on this house is a kind of steel called Core 10, which actually gets a surface layer of rust on it, and that rust layer stays and protects the uh, steel from further rusting. There's no painting required. It's maintenance free once that happens. I am responsible for vetting the materials used in the construction of the house. We're in a world which is increasingly polluted polluted from a chemical standpoint and polluted from an electrical emission standpoint. The only real protection you have is, the, is your living space, and that living space has got to be the purest space that you can possibly make for yourself if you're going to protect your health for the long term. As I said before, um, as far as I'm concerned, there's nothing better on the market right now than what you guys are doing with safe housing. It just doesn't exist. So. Yeah, we're calling this the sanctuary because it hopefully it'll just be um, health supporting. We obviously can't fix their health, but if they can go to a place where they're not just being bombarded, yeah. they have a chance then to at least try and recuperate somewhat. Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. And as you know, sustainability does not mean healthy on any level. Even people who do not have any sensitivity to chemicals whatsoever could benefit from healthy housing because decreasing their chemical exposure will decrease their cancer risk. Thank you, Dr. Tak, for your time. Yes, thank you. We know it's not going to satisfy every chemically sensitive person on the planet, but the premise was if the chemically sensitive can stay in it, anybody can stay in it. So if we're not using any wood trims, everything's sealed, all the studs are triple sealed, the EMF barrier, VOC barrier is right there. So this unit should be the cleanest thing out there. The MCS community is a moving target. One person might have a problem with one thing, another person might have a problem with another thing and not that thing. We wanted to make sure that everyone could live in a healthy home, not just the rich. If you measure the air quality inside your house, it's probably six to 10 times more toxic than what's right outside your door. We started out as a sustainable company, but the bottom line is sustainability has nothing to do with health. It has to do with energy efficiency. So even though it's energy efficient, it's still toxic products being put into your home and poisoning you every day. Our premise behind launching the PH Living Division was to be able to create healthy environments and still be sustainable. The sustainable part's easy. Creating healthy homes is not easy. We spent two years developing this with engineers, biobiologists, environmental toxicologists, multiple chemical sensitivity doctors, regular doctors. The test unit is here for people to come and test to see if it works for them, if they feel better, it's health supporting. We want you to know what you're getting. That's important to us, that we're transparent. We're the only ones that are brave enough to build the healthiest housing system in the world.